Now we have done a Honda City Type 2 VTEC in the past but that was not a complete build whereas this is completely done up like everything from the paint to the engine bay has been touched upon and well this is one of the most complete builds I've ever seen and I'm going to tell you all about it today. Now I'll tell you why exactly this is one of the nicest VTEC builds I've ever seen because the attention to detail in this build is insane. First of all, the whole car has been repainted into basically a short form for British Racing Green which is BRG and it looks stunning in this color. It gets these beautiful Lenzo Project D rims which are painted white a very classic JDM move and this bumper. This bumper is pretty special because if you notice most Honda City Type 2's have a three piece bumper basically whereas this is a single piece bumper which is very rare to find and well if the owner hopefully fingers crossed never crashes this car but if he does it's going to be a very difficult piece to find. Well apart from that well it's a Honda City Type 2 you have the spoiler at the back it's slammed on Cobra lowering spring so the stance is absolutely amazing the owner is going to shortly uh, order coilovers for this car so that the handling is also there. The City Type 2 is one of those cars that never ages even today the City Type 2 looks stunning and timeless. The simplistic design of the exterior is what makes it so good with its boxy headlamps and taillights and a silhouette that is very familiar. Plus, for people like me, born in the early 2000s, seeing a Type 2 that to a VTEC was a special sight in those days. It was one of those cars that you wanted your father to buy because you could tell all of the kids in your class that at home you had a city VTEC. Now under the hood, the owner has spent quite a lot of bucks because it's a proper thorough build. First of all, you have this amazing looking Edelbock Performer X uh, intake manifold. Then you have a Mark Performance header system. And of course you have the plenum over here of the VTEC. And you have a KNN and uh, air intake. Apart from that, inside the car between your legs, smashed in between your legs is a Greddy uh, ECU. You have a voltmeter inside and this is a proper build. And of course you have the strut bar as well over here, front and rear for better rigidity in the corners. Now take all of these engine mods and start adding them up. The horsepower has increased from 100 bhp to 125 bhp. But most of these cars are never about the power. The City VTEC is known for its amazing handling and sheer excitement that it gives you when VTEC kicks in yo. Jesus! Hold up, have you checked out our website? TheDriversUp.com is live now with a new segment called TDH Classifieds where you can list your exotic, performance or even project car and target the right audience. Even if you are in the market to buy yourself a nice car of your dreams, something like this, a first of its kind Skoda VRS 245 with an all-wheel drive system or maybe something more subtle like this Punto Abad with a Stage 1 Plus and a lot of goodies. So head on forward to TDH Classifieds and get the car of your dreams. So I think it is only fitting that we should take the VTEC out for a spin. Now before I start giving my thoughts on this car, I have to do the customary Honda boy tradition basically and now I'm ready to give my thoughts on this car well as the title and as my engine explaining shot suggests this is a 1.5 litre VTEC with a whole bunch of mods done to it and I'm not sure how much of VTEC action I can give you guys but let's just try doing it because currently we're in the heart of Bandra we were near Pali Hills and now we're on Carter Road and it's pretty much traffic infested and the roads have uh, speed breakers the size of the Empire State Building. So I have to literally go sideways on each and every speed breaker. And since this thing is on lowering springs, I do not want to give a scraped car back to the owner. Let's do one quick little pull. <laughs> A 
NA cars man there's something really different and something really special about NA cars and well this is one of the best Honda City builds I've ever seen I have to do one more pull and this thing handles like a proper little go-kart man it's super small it's a sedan so it looks good and sounds really nice has VTEC has everything that you want perfect little project car if you have some money lying around but that's the thing Honda City VTECs nowadays are super expensive I have to do one more pull and this thing shifts once you start getting into its power range basically and once VTEC kicks in I mean I don't think it's like as memes and everything that you see on Instagram such as it's not like ballistic but of course you get that extra power you get that extra feel and well VTEC is something special and you don't see it nowadays so it definitely has that special factor about it apart from that this car is not even on coilovers yet it's only on lowering springs by Cobra and it is extremely road to the ground it's like I'm dragging my butt on the road that's how low this thing is and on most speed breakers I have to go sideways because like I said I don't want to scrape this car coming to the interior well again the interior has been given a refresh you get this Momo Dark Fighter steering wheel which is amazing to look at you have this Alcantara finish over here you have this leather grip over here and the owner has gone on and fitted a old Honda Type R badge which looks really nice gives more character to the steering wheel then of course like I said this car has a Greddy uh, ECU and the ECU is not actually in the engine bay it's right over here between my feet so I can see this nice little blue finish over here and basically that's the ECU so I don't want to kick it or something while changing gears and you have this gear shifter over here which is finished in chopped up carbon and it looks really nice um, and apart from that it's basically a normal Honda City in the inside there's nothing too crazy going on uh, I mean the owner has fitted an aftermarket uh, sound system to it but we're all about the performance and well performance it gives because You can really feel the difference when VTEC kicks in. It's super fun to drive, I mean. And the good thing about the Honda City 1.5 VTEC is that, yeah, it's a great engine and everything, but it's backed up with good handling as well because you can basically do anything with a Honda City 1.5 VTEC. You can do a drag build, you can do a track build, you can do a normal street build, and even if you own it stock, it's a really nice car to own. And this car is a testament to what you can do with a Honda City 1.5 VTEC. It's done up really well. And this is a very good example of what a Honda City 1.5 VTEC project car should be. Here are five reasons as to why the City VTEC Type 2 should be your next project car. Number one, City VTECs look really nice and give you that early 2000s Japanese design language that you don't really get anymore. Number two, Parts and modifications are relatively cheap and City VTEC builds can be done in a budget as well. Number 3. They have immense tuning potential and a brand like Race Concepts can turbocharge these cars and produce over 280 horsepower. Number 4. Aftermarket support is endless and you can virtually buy anything and everything for it. Number 5. City VTECs like most other Japanese cars are easy to work on and good for a DIY project. Now here are a few things to look out for while buying a City VTEC. Number 1. The 1.5 engine came in two different variations, one with VTEC and one without. So it is very easy to get scammed. So look for the VTEC badge on the intake plenum and check the RC card to confirm the same. Number 2. Rust is an issue. For these cars being over 20 years old, rust can easily infect the whole car. The ground clearance of the City Type 2 is very low. So if you live in a rural area or just have bad roads, be ready to scrape your underbody. And lastly, VTECs are super expensive to buy nowadays. A good VTEC with a good VTEC will set you back easily 2 to 3 lakh rupees just because of its rarity. Moreover, people have been asking ridiculous prices for VTECs and well, anything in the 1 lakh to 2.5 lakh rupee range depending on condition makes sense for a city VTEC. Anything above that seems to be a bit of an overkill. The City VTEC will forever be one of those cars in India's automotive history to actually bring the fun to the masses. 
the timeless looks and the great tuning potential of the VTEC is what makes it an icon in today's day and age. So if you have 5 lakh rupees to spend on a project car, the City VTEC will be great for you. Considering the car is 2 to 2.5 two lakh rupees to buy, everything else can be spent on engine mods and customizations to create the perfect VTEC for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out TDH Classifieds to get yourself your next tuner car. Till then, subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.